Today, we will be looking inside Big Data Analytics under the Content tab. Firstly, we will be looking at landing pages, which are pages that a person lands on when they first come to your site. If someone asked you, do you know what your best performing page is, would you have the answer based on data? If you are just looking at page views, it may seem like a certain page is performing better, but it may actually be earning lower revenue. If we look at this page here, wowforyou.com backslash words appreciation, we can see that this page has the most page views, so it may lead you to believe it is the best performing. However, a page may have a lot of page views, but is actually earning lower revenue. Here we can see this landing page's average EPMV is below the site's average EPMV. Looking at the page with the highest revenue, we can see wowforyou.com backslash graduation is bringing in the most revenue for this time frame, which makes sense because May is the end of the school year. What we want to do is increase the value of these landing pages, and you can do this by better understanding your audience. One way to better understand your audience is to look at the data on different device types, desktop and mobile. You can see there are very different interactions with the content on the site depending on what device you're looking at. Desktop follows a very linear pattern of busy during the week and not busy on the weekends. Mobile follows a pattern too. The traffic is stable all week with a peak on Sunday. If the graduation quotes page is performing so well, we might assume that that page EPMV would be the same across both devices, but that is not the case here. On desktop, it is the top search with the highest EPMV, but on mobile, it's not even in the top 10. This tells us that the top demographic is probably at work, and so is slightly older. Improving page views and revenue on the site is going to look very different on desktop than it is on mobile. By clicking on this clock, we can get a readout of how this performs over time. We can see that for this page on New Year's greetings, there is a peak at the end of December and EPMV is highest just before New Year's Eve. This is an easy one to understand because New Year's Eve is a particular time of every year, but it paints a picture of how you can see how different pages perform over time, especially because content and what ranks will change over time. It is important to look at both the big picture and small picture, so you're strategizing well for short-term and long-term changes. For example, we can look at this page for birthdays, which happen all year round. It has good page views and higher than average EPMV. We can look at increasing content around birthday quotes, which would then increase time on the page. Advertisers want quality content and engaged visitors, so time on site is an important metric to improve. Here you can see that a page on quotes on life has an average EPMV of 97 cents in the lowest engagement. You can use landing pages to get a better understanding of your audience and what they're looking at, and if you're going to be targeting certain pages and keywords, that you're spending your time where you should be. It's possible the landing page tab will give you more questions and answers at times, but it will have you asking the right questions. While landing pages are pages that a visitor first lands on when they visit your site, the Pages tab gives you data on every page of your website. Here we can see that the graduation page is still performing well. The page tab is useful to figure out content that should be worked on so that you can get it more up to par with the rest of your site's pages. There are many reasons why a page might be performing worse than others, such as error with the page setup. The right sizes of ads need to be enabled, enough ads need to show, and they need to be visible. For example, Quotes on Life has an average of 35 cents RPM, while the overall average is 246. This tells us that something needs to be improved on that page, or that it is different than everything else. Check to make sure there are enough placeholders on the page and the right sizes are enabled. The Exit Pages tab will also help with understanding your pages better. It lets you know what pages people are on when they leave your site. This can indicate what pages you need to work on so that less people will leave once they get on this page. Here we can see that this Happiness Photo page is the top exited page. In Page Details, you can see what length of content is your best performing. We can see that for this site, the majority of articles being written are between 1,000 and 2,500 words. These have made the most revenue, but the page RPM is slightly below average. But we can see that 500 to 750 words actually performs a bit better from an RPM perspective. It may be a better use of time to create more articles that are 500 to 750 words than writing ones that are 1,000 to 2,500. You can see in this tab which of your pages aren't producing revenue. There are multiple reasons why there may be pages without revenue, but one of the main ones is due to objectionable content, which is why ads may not be showing on the page. If an article performs well with traffic, it is worth going through these pages to alter the objectionable content so you can actually begin monetizing these pages. In author metrics, you can see how different authors for your website are performing. 
you can see which authors are driving the most views, the most engagement, and the highest revenue. This can be used to incentivize authors or pay per performance. In publish date, you can keep track of what days of publication are perhaps your highest performing, such as a Wednesday. It can also help you see how much content per month or week is a sweet spot. If you're using categories, you can see in categories how well each one particularly performs. There may be a category that performs better than others, so it would be useful to spend time creating more content in that category. On the flip side, categories that aren't performing well may need a boost or more time spent creating content around that category, especially if articles within that category have high engagement. Lastly, in content age, you can see how old your content is. Many times, publishers will have articles that performed well for a long time, and then they're suddenly not getting as much engagement or visitors as they used to. One of the things that first jumps out is if content is five to six years old and hasn't been updated or attended to. More content is constantly being published online and may start beating out your content if it does not remain relevant, updated, and optimized. Even if it is evergreen content, it is always good to make sure it is optimized and updated because there is always a chance that other content will eventually begin to outrank it.